Hey, what's up y'all? Just wanted to hop on here and show you how I actually get free wood chips for my garden. I guess I don't actually get them for free. It's like a lot for $20 usually. So, but you can get them for free. Um, so I just go to Google and then I just Google chip drop. As you can see, it's already highlighted because I use it all the time. Uh, so chip drop, the actual website is getchipdrop.com Then free wood chips. So I click there. Brings me here. I already sorry, my camera keeps losing focus. Uh, so I already have a an account, so I just click login, but if it's your first time, then you just click sign in for free. Uh, I have no requests, no drops in progress. I used it six previous times. Uh, so I want to start a new request. Uh, all my information is already in here. So I just hit next. Um, so you definitely want to read this important. Um, you won't get any notice, so they just show up. Once you sign up, you will get an email. Uh, and I always do put my phone number in there so they can call me. Um, I'm usually here anyway, so I like to know when they're coming so I can guide them uh, exactly where to dump them. Uh, each delivery is about 20 cubic yards. Uh, so that's like a full dump truck load. So you have to take the whole thing. So you can't just order like a small amount and be like, oh yeah, but I really just want like one scoop. No, you have to go buy that somewhere. Um, and you must take the entire dump truck load. Uh, if you want to cancel, like you can't cancel it once they've already, once you've gotten the email notification that they're on the way, there's no way to cancel it. You're dealing with like a third party website here. So the people just go, the, the, um, the tree companies go on this website and they see that you've signed up for a drop site. So if you were to try to cancel it, well, you're not talking to the people who are already on the way there and there's just really no way to contact them. Uh, so I do always put my phone number. Um, and yeah, if you request logs, I mean, I don't ever request logs. I have no use for them, but if you wanted like firewood or something, it's also a good way to get free firewood. So click yes, agree. Uh, here's what am I interested in? You can get logs or just wood chips or either. I always just click on just wood chips now that makes it so it could take longer for you to get um your delivery so if you're willing to take a few logs with your wood chips then you might get a delivery faster but there's no guarantee so uh and i'm not really willing to take logs i just don't want them let's i got too much going on here and i don't have fire so. um so no i'm not willing to take logs in my wood chips wood chips only yes confirm and I've already been on here to, I, I just got a dump truck load full of wood chips like uh, a couple weeks ago, but they're gone already. And the reason I'm ordering more is because I want to use them as my carbon source to make compost. So my plan is to make as much compost as possible over the next six months to potentially not have to buy any compost next year for my farm. Um, so... Facing the house on the left, side of the house, close to the gardens as possible. Second option is a front yard towards the left side of the property. I'm typically here at garden full time. Just give me a call when you're on the way or when you get here. Are there any species of wood chips, of wood or wood chips you absolutely cannot receive? So I just always put no, but um, I don't know, there's some types of trees out there that are not good for growing uh, plants. Would I like to donate? Okay, so this is the key part right here. So the first time I ever tried this, I like went on here, I signed up and I waited for a year and nobody ever brought me into wood chips. <laughs> so the tree companies, so the way this website works, the tree companies go on this website and they can see that you've signed up for a chip drop or somebody signed up for a chip drop and then 
you know, the company pays $20 though to use this service to find a place to dump wood chips. And it's usually because they're working right in your area. And they're looking for a place close by to drop this stuff off because otherwise they have to haul it somewhere and it costs money for gas, all those types of things. And um, then it also costs money to drop it off at the dump. So because the company is paying $20 to use this service, you can pay their $20. So like I said, the first time I did this, I waited a year, no wood chips ever came. And then I went back on, I was like, well, let me sign up again. Okay, well, I'll pay. So they pay $20. You could pay an additional 40, 60, 80 if you wanted. And this is gonna get it faster, but I wouldn't recommend paying any additional then you have to but if you pay their $20 I always get a chip drop within one week always does everything look good what I requested address and the description on where to dump it my phone number so they can call me I paid their $20 place request my request has been received. This doesn't mean a delivery is on the way. It just means that your request has been added to our system. The next time an arborist needs to get rid of some wood chip or logs in your area, they'll be able to see that you're on the list and select your site for delivery. And then that's it. I'm all signed up. They'll charge me $20 um, when the company comes to drop them off and I'll probably um, get a delivery of wood chips within the next week. So I hope that's helpful for y'all. That's how I get wood chips. I pay $20 for like a full dump truck load. So it's well worth the $20. And then, uh, you know, if you've seen any of my other gardening YouTube videos, you can see that I heavily wood chip mulch my entire garden, the walkways and all that. And then um, at this point, I'm trying to accumulate as many wood chips as possible to use as feedstock for compost piles for next year. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. And uh, if you haven't seen any of my other gardening videos, go back and watch those ones now. And hopefully you'll follow along for some more tips and tricks for your garden. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a good one.